Hello and welcome back to It's New. I'm Barry Schwartz with us, Morty and Greg. Crystal is still in transit. Um, so hopefully we'll get her back for next week. I thought and she was in New uh, York. She was she's in, in New transit? York. Oh, okay. She's in yeah. the subway. Lost in the subway. <laughs> it's not a good place to be lost these days. <laughs> Any event, um, I'll be talking about search volatility and some business suspensions. Morty, what do you got? Check your vitals. Core Web Vitals might be on life support. And Greg? And Google is giving another shot at some social. And you too can try it right here on YouTube. Yada, yada, yada. All right. Um, Google search. Um, it's been volatile. It's been very, very all over the place since the core update, actually before the core update actually was rolled out in August, uh, but it's still very volatile, but there are specific dates that seem to be more, that cause more SEO chatter within the community, like I go to call it. Um, there was the day after or so, like around the 6th of September, then we had um, the around September 10th, then around the 14th, and now again around the 18th. Um, so it seems like there's a lot more volatility happening in the past 24 hours or so. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. It's very, it seems to be unusual for following a core update where we see like so much volatility. I don't know if Google's tweaking stuff. I'm sure if I ask them, which I can ask them, but they're definitely going to say, no, core update's done. We're not doing anything. You guys are crazy, uh, which they may be true. It may be crazy, but still, um, there definitely does seem to be something going on. Uh, Morty, I know you just wrote up a nice piece um, on SEMrush about the core update, but what are your thoughts overall on this volatility? Yeah, actually, in that post, I covered like, you know, soon after the update, you could see not just, okay, there's volatility, but it's websites that were impacted by the update seeing massive changes. So it's like, oh, okay, there's volatility, but those those sites that were impacted negatively, positive by the update are stable. They're not. So that seems weird. Just write good content. Uh, we released <laughs> many, many algorithm updates constantly. Yeah, yada, yada. good content. And also, Glenn Gabe has been sharing on Twitter examples of specific websites that are up, down, up, down, up, down. So it's not just, you know, the ranking tools that are showing this. It's not just like in aggregate. It's not just people complaining on SEO forums. Um, there are specific sites that, you know, obviously you guys who run the sites are seeing these really big swings. And Glenn Gabe and other people are tracking specific sites that have been hit by core updates in the past and seeing it do very well, then drop again. Then do, it's just a big roller coaster. Um, talking about roller coasters, um, it seems like they shut down some because uh, Google Business Profiles has been suspending a bunch of types of industries um, over the past couple of days. Uh, ben Fisher said garage door and dumpster, I guess trash companies, are getting massive business profile disabled notifications where their business profiles are being disabled and suspended. I went to the Google Business Profiles to validate that and I saw tons and tons of complaints of my website, my business profile has been suspended. I'm seeing a suspension notice. I'm seeing it's disabled. What's going on? So Google does this every now and then uh, for specific industries to try to clean up the Google business, uh, the Google Maps lo lo local listings. Um, and it seems like that has happened over the past couple of days. So if you notice your business has been suspended, um, you're definitely not alone. You can definitely go ahead and post about it in the Google forums and you may be able to get some help there. Uh, but it does seem to be widespread. Sounds like a real dumpster fire. <laughs> a little bit. Um, talking about um, dumpster of information, what do we got about Core Web Vitals, Morty? <laughs> I'm sorry. So I'm going uh, to prepare myself as I step on this landmine. So Martin Split from Google was doing a video. And in the video, he basically says, he says, Core Web Vitals are not as important as you might really think. He literally said, also, Core Web Vitals aren't as important as some people might think. He then went on to say they are um, they are not irrelevant though, but do not overfocus on these things. Again, while this won't directly affect your site's performance in Google search, it will make your users surely make your users happier. I, I don't know what to say about this anymore. I, I, I feel like there's there's the SEO sort of dug themselves into the like you know like a hole in the ground, hunker down, like we will not let up on this. You know, core web vitals because that's the service I offer, so that clearly must be the thing that moves the needle for. By the way, I was going to say SEOs like in 2024, if that's what you're focusing on. I feel like you've lost the room. You walk into like the C level suite, they don't care about core web vitals like that. 
that's just my personal opinion. I, I, I don't want to like disparage anybody who's focusing on coral vitals. If, if it has right. real impact, it, there are cases I know in news in the news vertical. There's been a lot of chatter that coral vitals can make a difference because it's the same copy on both sites. So like the different, it's the tiebreaker kind of thing. Fine, I'm not saying it's not possible, but it really feels like this is so overblown. But SEOs will not let go of it. Yeah, I mean at the bottom of my post, I have, I think some of the times I cover this topic. Every single time I'm like, stop focusing on it too much. I'm like, just stop it. And I've written about it like probably a couple dozen times. And I have all the links in the bottom just to like show it. Um, it's just wild. And it's funny, I, I write about this all the time. It's like nobody reads what I write because I get onto these like <laughs> webinars and it was like talking about core red vitals and how important it is. I'm like, <laughs> I don't get it. I, get, I understand like if you have nothing else to do and your developers are bored and they want to make that red score a little more yellow or green and make it perfect, sure, have at it. It's fun for them sometimes. But it's something that if you feel your website is slow on a mobile device or desktop device, yeah, of course, that's bad for users. But if it feels snappy and your users are happy, but Google says you're, a, I don't know, a yellow score, I don't think it matters. It's not going to impact your, your rankings or anything that much. So. Anyway, we should probably move on because I'm probably upsetting half of the SEOs out there. But Morty really upset them, not me. I wasn't. It's, it's my fault. Well, I wasn't going to cover it. I was just, I just tweeted it, I, and then everybody's like, oh, yeah. so I'm like, oh, I'm going to cover it again oh. just because. Everybody. Hey, look, Google didn't say just optimize for core web vitals. They just wrote just write good content. But it's fine. I just think, like, sorry, we should. But Danny Sullivan and the search liaison, his. I'm like, can you just say it? Can you just please just say it? It's like, well, we have page experience. It's a system, and I'm not going to say it's not important. Um, it's in there. It's part of everything, and it's important, but it's not important. But I'm not going to say it's not important. I'm not going to say it is important. It's there. I'm like I don't want to badger the confusing. point, but that's the problem. They they don't they're not clear. Even in, in this line from Martin, he 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 can't let go of it and say like it's not a thing. They say, no, it's still it's not. But uh, this he did at the end. He said again, yep. while this won't directly affect your site's performance in Google search, it will make your users happy. Directly affect. Now, like, like, so now it's oh, going right. to be like, oh, it'll end. Google, someone, like, Google. I have I'm an here. idea, Morty. I have an idea. Yeah. Make every single Wix website incredibly slow and do the before and after analysis of the rankings. Good idea. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm on it. I'm on it. But also, Google, if you want a lesson in comms, I'm here. I charge a very hefty fee, but you got a lot of money, so it's okay. <laughs> All right. Um, let's move on to something that makes people really happy is the YouTube community, Greg. Yes. And if they are hiring a director of comms, they should hire Morty because this article is very hard to read and understand per most of the Google announcements. Um, but Google is launching a new communities experience for fans. I believe TechCrunch called it a Discord-esque type element uh, within YouTube. It is, if you go to a channel, there are some select channels that have this already, and I was kind of checking them out. Um, there's a new communities tab within a page on YouTube. Um, I can't get that thing to work on desktop. It only works for me on mobile, um, on the app. But um, with that, the uh, creator can interact and engage with the fans. Fans can put posts up, um, and some of it is like creator selected or can have prompts and things like that. Um, an example of one that they featured was a fitness community. And if you want to go check it out, it's called Sydney Cummings Howdy Show. Kind of a, a long name there. But they, she had like a workout of the day. And then there were a bunch of people just posting like their sweaty selfies after being like, oh, leg day was great. And then it seemed really nice. People were like, like giving positive reactions to, hey, you completed the workout. And it was kind of a very social element baked into YouTube. Um, you know, I think that that works for very specific cases, but, uh, you know, a lot of YouTube is horrific from a comment section side of things. So I don't know how that's going to go, but what do you think? Should we get in on community? Should we build a, a, it's new community here on YouTube? I guess we could try. I mean, our, our comments are pretty good, except for this guy named Morty, who's always in there harassing people. Yeah, I know. I'm not harassing. I only harass Greg. Mm. It's true. <laughs> we well, could try. Anyway, it looks it looks exciting. So anyway, everyone have a great day. We are back, not tomorrow, but on Monday for more It's New. Thanks so much for listening. Bye-bye.